Every Thursday here on Today, Leonard's Look gives our Mike Leonard a chance to explore another unusual aspect of the American experience. This morning, he's looking at the personal computer and finding one man who thinks we may one day wear them on our heads. I caught a glimpse of the future recently, and let me tell you, it was not a pretty sight. Do I look dumbfounded? Um, um, maybe. Dumbfounded by Steve Mann's view of life. Yeah, I sort of live in a dual adaptation space. Dumbfounded by his view of me. You look, uh, coordinate transformed. And dumbfounded most of all by the computer technology that this doctoral candidate at MIT's Media Lab has rigged up so that anybody logging onto his internet homepage can see what he sees through a head-mounted camera that's somehow wired into some kind of transmitting gear that somehow shoots the data through the antenna on his head to his office computer which somehow beams it onto that World Wide Web thing which I can somehow tap into from my home in Winnetka, Illinois just so I can see how dumb I looked in Boston a few weeks ago when and Steve was trying to explain to me how he manages to stay constantly logged onto his computer by scanning a tiny screen with one eye while using one hand to finger a keyboard that somehow triggers the camera, drives programs, sends messages, and checks email. Many, many people would be self-conscious walking out like that. Uh, yeah, that's quite, quite possible, um, but somebody's got to explore the future. <coughs> by field testing his own tetherless computing system that he hopes will one day benefit all of humanity, right down to the lowest organism on the techno food chain. You know, in a few years, uh, it won't be considered unusual to be reading your email while you're standing in line at the bank. Steve already does that, and more. You know, for example, when I'm shopping and choosing out fruits and vegetables, my wife can, can send me email to comment on, you know, which ones she wants or what have you transmitted instantaneously to his home computer via a series of still pictures. Feeding live video to his computer is proving to be a bit more problematical. And while Steve continues to struggle with that, we continue to wrestle with the uneasy feeling that by clinging to our simple-minded way of looking at things, we might end up as the out-of-touch dorks of the future, unfashionable antennaless geeks, soon to be overshadowed by the style of Steve. Although people regard it as strange, I think there's a certain coolness to it now. It's, it's a different, when cell phones uh, were first introduced, it was, it, there was even a market for fake uh, cellular antennas that you could put on your car so that you'd look cool, catalytic, and connected. And I could envision in the future a market for fake antennas to stick out of the hats. I don't know, I just can't see myself walking around like that. But then maybe I'm just one of those guys who's a little too concerned about how he looks in public. For today, Mike Leonard, NBC News, Cambridge, Massachusetts. Sometimes silence is the proper response. Still coming up on today, Gene Shalit in the Critics Corner with a favorable look at the new movie City Hall. Baby Boomers taking a look at retirement planning and how to make helping mom in the kitchen quality time for the kids. We're going to take a break right here. This is Today on NBC. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.